Hi guys, welcome back uh, for another, uh, this would be part three of Series Sunday. Unfortunately, I missed last week. Uh, that's just, we had some family stuff come up and uh, that took precedent over trying to do a video. So when we left off, I believe we left off as I was pregnant, yay. And now, this is going to be kind of going through the pregnancy, but not anything too dramatic or exciting happened during the pregnancy. I shouldn't say not exciting, but nothing too dramatic happened during the pregnancy. It was a fairly normal, uh, didn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, I guess we were, I was happy once we hit that mark where we could stop doing the uh, progesterone injections because that does become a little bit difficult towards the end um but we did it we made it i mean it wasn't that big of a deal it wasn't like horrifically painful or anything but it, it was uncomfortable um so got through that um graduated from the clinic in Connecticut. They were satisfied with all of the lab work and everything and ultrasounds and everything that we could continue on now with my normal family doctor. Now, I guess this is a good spot to talk about educating people on this too, because I, I had a lot of support behind me. And if you're going to do something like this, you want to make sure you have a good support system, especially because, um, the fathers were international they can't you know they're not here with you so you want to make sure you have an excellent support system in case something were to happen because like if something were to happen they can't be here instantly and luckily I had that with Jeremy and my parents and Jeremy's parents, everybody was so 100% supportive behind this. It took a little adjusting at first when I first told them what I was doing, but in the end, everybody was right there with me. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, okay, educating people. So people start asking questions, right? Suddenly I'm pregnant, like, and we have to, so I would explain to some people, I'd just be like, yeah, I'm expecting, I didn't want to go into it. It's not, it wasn't the time or the place. There was a couple um, times I went to get maternity clothing and I started explaining it to the girl helping me. And she was very like, had tons of questions and was like, I've never seen, I've never talked to anybody before that's done this. and. You know, it was great because I could explain to her the process a little bit and some of the myths and realities of it. Like I said, I had 100% support from most people. I only had a couple negative, com not even comments, more questions, and I get it. Um, you know, I had somebody say, oh, well, like I said, I think in the last video, you must be making good money off this. That's not what I was in it for. Like I said, and I explained in Canada, you have to have receipts proving that you've spent your own money out of pocket in order to be reimbursed. And then, oh, another one was, well, so you, because I'll be going to my family doctor for the rest of this pregnancy now. And, oh, so OHIP is going to cover all the costs. For them no that's not true they the fathers get billed for all of my um, doctor's visits they get billed for when I'm in the hospital and giving birth they get billed for the like when they stayed in the hospital they get billed for uh, the appointment the follow-up appointment that they had to pay for it's not just you know it's all free for them. It's not at all. So yeah, that's, you know, that was probably the biggest controversial thing, but I didn't really run into any issues with anybody. Um, it was more just exciting and people had a lot of questions and I was 
I'm happy to explain it. Like I had no problems with that. So yeah, at this point, you know, we're pregnant, we're good to go. Nothing really, I worked, I did my normal thing. I still worked my 14 hour days. It wasn't like, that's something I was used to and I always have done. Um, so I've never, I don't get morning sickness. I don't really get any major cravings per se that I can think of. Maybe Jeremy can pop one in there if I did have, I can't, I can't say this one I had any major, oh no, I did. I ate veggie wraps all the time. That's right. That was my big craving is I would eat lettuce, tomatoes, uh, ranch, buffalo sauce, cheese, and tons of onion in a veggie wrap. And I'd eat that every single day for months. I don't eat them anymore. But anyway, so that was, that was my big craving. Other than that, I can't think of anything else really. So see I kind of got a list here of oh yes this was a good one um so another thing and Jeremy this was his like he was excited to say um so when people ask questions or someone heard that I was pregnant and talked to Jeremy and Jeremy was like yeah it's not mine though <laughs> it's just funny to see the look on people's faces <laughs> and then when you say yeah it's not mine either as the pregnant one <laughs> It was just kind of a fun, goofy thing. We did a gender reveal, and I'm hoping Jeremy can find a clip of the video that we sent the dad. So the dads wanted to know the gender, so we did a little video uh, of what we did for the reveal, because obviously we can't do a big gender reveal over here, because they're there. Um, <laughs> So we did a video and sent it to them, and that's how they found out. Hang on. One, two, three. It's a girl! Yeah. That was pretty cool. Other than that, it was a pretty straightforward pregnancy. If you have any questions, ask away. Like, I have no problem answering your questions on this. Um, the next part four will be the most exciting, uh, because this is our, will be our crazy delivery story. And I'm going to have Jeremy chime in on that one too, because he was a big part of that. Oh, it was insane and magical and perfect. Uh, so we're going to do a part four with that. Part five will be saying goodbye going home postpartum and then we will do a part six seeing her on her first birthday and then we're gonna move on to my second journey I do believe and as you all know maybe you don't know maybe I haven't said it I am on track uh, for our third uh, journey and so far things are, we're getting close. So a couple more months and I could be pregnant again. All right. So sorry this video was so short. There wasn't a lot to discuss through this. It, like I said, it was just a normal pregnancy. Um, all your normal stuff, all your normal checkups. I was healthy through the whole thing. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next Sunday.